This week we're going to install the uh, automatic bilge pump in this boat. It's a key component for uh, pretty much any bass boat or boat in general and I guess it's appropriate this week it decided to rain for the first time in 45 days so we're in the garage doing it. Uh, light's not quite as good but at least we're dry today. Now I'm going to put an automatic bilge pump in it since this boat sits in the water a good bit of the time. Uh, the automatic bilge pump will come on uh, anytime it gets enough water into it, pump it out, keep it from filling up while it's alone. Uh, one of the other issues with this particular boat is that there's no exit hole for that bilge pump to pump out of. So what I've done is taken some PVC and just made a U-shape that just fits over the transom, gives it a nice clean look, and it'll sit there all the time with the bilge pump holding down the other end. Now, anytime you've got an automatic bilge pump, you're going to have three wires. You're going to have a ground wire, then you're going to have a wire that uh, is connected to an on-off switch that runs when you flip the switch and uh, you're going to have a wire that's hot all the time so that when the float comes up in there uh, it cuts on and pumps out water. Now in my old boat uh, I had it uh, wired just to the automatic side and that way anytime enough water got into it it would pump out but there were a few occasions I wanted the pump to continue running or the float stuck so I wanted to have the ability to cut it on. Uh, I went out and purchased a marine switch, simply an on-off switch that I could wire into this one. And the first problem I ran into is there's really not anywhere to mount it on this boat. Uh, so what I did is I took one of these braces that goes across the top of my battery trays, uh, drilled a hole in it for the top of that, and I'm going to mount it just like that. And what you'll see is it's going to sit right beside the battery. Uh, I'll wire a hot wire into one side of this switch and the wire that goes to the uh, switched side of the automatic bilge pump. Real clean installation. Uh, it also protects the switch a little bit from the weather, although that's a, although that's a marine switch. Uh, and it shouldn't be that big a deal to wire up. Now I've gone ahead and uh, done a little bit of the work in advance, put my end connectors on for the battery terminals, and this is just a slide on clip that will go on to the bottom of the uh, switch itself. In addition to that, I'll need a jumper from this side to the positive of the battery. So we're simply going to put this one on the on side. This is the one going to our battery. And we just got to put our tray back in place. Tighten that down. Make sure there's plenty of space in there for my switch to work. I'll check that before I drill that hole. Make sure we had plenty of room. Now, I already disconnected my battery terminals. It's the one going the jumper for my 36 volt system, so I'm going to hook my hot wire in there. I'm going to hook the other hot wire, which is the wire for the uh, automatic side of the bilge pump in there. Nut back on it. Put the ground on, the switch was on, now we got it off so that won't do that again. Down. Okay, we've got all our wiring done on the automatic bilge pump, so there's a couple of tests we want to do before I stick it down in the bottom of the boat uh, to leave it. First of all, we want to see if the float's working, and we can do that by turning it over. Pump runs. We also want to flip our switch and make sure the manual mode works, and it's working. Now, I wasn't really happy with the way I'd originally planned this uh, with my drain pipe coming straight out of the bilge pump. So I've come back and I've added a piece in here. And what we're going to do is have this one here coming out which puts us pointed straight up which gives us a straight down line right here so there's no bend in that hose. Should be a lot smoother and uh, make the flow a little better on it as well.
Once I get it down and in place, I want to measure exactly how much hose I need on it. Cut that and hook it up. All right, that's pretty straightforward. I've got the automatic build pump in, and if you'll join me next week, I'll show you how I went about putting the Lawrence Elite 5 that I'm adding to this boat.